This is a square containing an inscribed circle and another smaller circle. We know this distance is 6, and these distances are 4. So, what's the area of the square? Let's call the radius of the large circle uppercase R, and the radius of the small circle lowercase r. Now we can see that the diameter of the large circle is equal to the diameter of the smaller circle, plus 6. We can simplify this equation by dividing it by 2, which leaves us with large r equals small r plus 3. And it's easy to add that to our diagram, because if small r plus 3 is equal to the large radius, then this distance must be equal to 3. Moving to the vertical line now, we'll call this distance y. Then, since y plus 4 and r plus 3 are both equal to the radius of the large circle, we can set them equal to each other. After some simplification, we can find that y is equal to r minus 1. So let's add that to our diagram. Notice we can draw another radius that creates this right triangle. If we plug these values into the Pythagorean theorem and do some simplification, we'll eventually find that r is equal to 5. So we found the value of the radius of the small circle, but remember that we're looking for the area of the square, and we're close to getting there, so stay with me. 3 plus 5, or just 8, is equal to the length of the large radius. It's also half the side length of the square, so we can double 8 to find the side length of the square is 16. And finally, we'll square the side length to find that the area of the square is 256.